What if you were born into a family with high expectations and prestige? Could you rise to the occasion? John Fitzgerald Kennedy didn't just rise, he soared. Born in 1917 into the illustrious Kennedy family, JFK's early life was marked by privilege, but also by trials. From a young age he grappled with health challenges that would persist throughout his life. Yet, this did not deter him. Determined and resilient, JFK pursued education at Harvard, where he honed his intellectual prowess and leadership skills. Following his time at Harvard, he displayed unparalleled bravery during his military service in World War II. As a decorated war hero, JFK embodied courage and dedication. This courage was the bedrock of his early political career, as he navigated the complex world of politics with the same tenacity that marked his early life. From an early age, JFK was marked for greatness, and he didn't disappoint. Have you ever wondered what it takes to become the youngest elected president of the United States? For John F. Kennedy, it was a blend of charisma, intelligence, and an unwavering dedication to public service. His political journey began in Massachusetts, where he served as a representative and later a senator. Known for his eloquence and charm, JFK quickly became a beloved figure in American politics. His campaign for presidency was marked by inspiring speeches, engaging debates, and a commitment to progress. Amid the Cold War tensions, Kennedy's vision of a stronger, more united America resonated with the public. His famous slogan, Let's Get America Moving Again, encapsulated his promise to stimulate economic growth and promote social equality. The election of 1960 was a closely fought battle, but Kennedy's charisma and forward-thinking approach ultimately won him the presidency. At the age of 43, JFK made history as the youngest ever elected to the office. How can one man's vision inspire a nation to reach for the stars? John F. Kennedy did just that with his New Frontier policies. These were not just political strategies but a call to action for every American. He urged citizens to take on the challenges of a rapidly changing world and to push beyond the boundaries of the known. Kennedy's establishment of the Peace Corps embodied his commitment to service and international cooperation. He saw America's role not as a domineering force but as a beacon of hope and progress, reaching out to assist nations in need. Perhaps most famously, JFK championed the cause of space exploration. He believed in the potential and ingenuity of the American people, challenging the nation to land a man on the moon before the end of the 60s. This audacious goal sparked a wave of innovation and discovery that continues to this day. JFK's belief in American ingenuity and optimism shaped the nation's future. Can one decision avert a nuclear war and save humanity? This question was put to the ultimate test during the Cuban Missile Crisis of 1962. The world held its breath as the United States and the Soviet Union stood on the brink of nuclear conflict. At the heart of this perilous standoff was President John F. Kennedy. His leadership throughout the crisis was marked by a delicate balance of strength and diplomacy. Kennedy rejected the calls for immediate military action, instead opting for a naval blockade of Cuba. It was a high-stakes gamble that required nerves of steel and unwavering belief in peaceful resolution. Through tense negotiations, the crisis was eventually diffused, with the Soviets agreeing to remove their missiles from Cuba. This critical moment in history showcased Kennedy's commitment to safeguarding humanity, even when faced with the most dire of threats. JFK's commitment to peace and safety was proven during the most dangerous crisis of the Cold War. What role can a president play in advancing civil rights and justice? That's the question John F. Kennedy faced as he took office in the turbulent era of the 60s. Kennedy recognized the deep-seated racial disparities that plagued the nation, and he took it upon himself to be a part of the solution. He used his platform to advocate for equality pushing for legislation that aimed to end segregation and racial discrimination. His administration worked closely with civil rights leaders, including Martin Luther King Jr., to understand and address the issues faced by the African-American community. Kennedy's support for the civil rights movement wasn't just political, it was personal. He believed in a nation where every citizen, regardless of the color of their skin, had an equal chance at the American dream. Although his life was cut short before he could see the fruits of his labor, the groundwork he laid paved the way for the landmark Civil Rights Act of 1964. Kennedy's fight for equality and justice changed the course of American history. 
What legacy does a leader leave behind when their life is cut short? The story of John F. Kennedy provides a poignant answer to this question. The 35th President of the United States, JFK's life was tragically cut short on a fateful day in Dallas, Texas. November 22, 1963, a date forever etched in the collective memory of the American people, marked the end of a presidency brimming with potential. Kennedy's assassination sent shockwaves around the globe. The sudden and brutal end of his life marked a turning point in American history. A nation mourned, the world mourned. The vibrant leader full of promise and hope was no more. Yet in the face of this profound tragedy, the legacy of JFK began to take shape. His death did not spell an end to his influence. Instead, it marked the beginning of an enduring legacy that continues to resonate with millions. His vision for a new frontier did not die with him. It lived on, inspiring countless individuals to reach for the stars, both literally and metaphorically. The man on the moon, that was Kennedy's dream. His belief in American ingenuity and optimism fueled the nation's space exploration efforts long after his death. But JFK's legacy extends beyond the moon. His commitment to civil rights, his advocacy for equality and justice, these two are part of the enduring legacy he left behind. His presidency laid the groundwork for future civil rights advancements, setting the stage for transformative legislation that would shape the fabric of American society. Moreover, JFK's legacy is felt in the realm of international diplomacy. His handling of the Cuban Missile Crisis, his commitment to peace, his dedication to the safety of humanity, all of these aspects of his presidency have left an indelible mark on the world. Though his life ended tragically, JFK's legacy continues to inspire millions. His story is a testament to the power of leadership, the importance of vision, and the enduring influence of a life dedicated to the service of others. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the life and legacy of John F. Kennedy. His story of hope, tragedy, and enduring influence continues to inspire millions. We hope you've been inspired too, and we want to hear your thoughts. What do you think JFK's greatest legacy is? How does his life and presidency resonate with you today? Please share your thoughts in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more inspiring stories of great leaders. Stay with us as we continue to explore the lives and legacies that have shaped our world. Stay tuned for more, and thank you for watching.